All right, Mike, uh, you're gonna start with the bonnet first, just like that. Uh, just make sure you don't got like a lot of dirt in there or you know a lot of crap, but just make sure you have grease before you install the new packing. In this case, there's grease already in there. So, start your packing, O-ring facing downward. Start with the first one. I usually go like at an angle like that to get it in easier. Kind of push your, your thumb and on the other side to make it go all the way down. Oh, there's one. The second one, and saw the same way with the O-ring facing down. Two, and then your gland ring. Doesn't matter which way. All right. Now, you're gonna lead it over like that. Get some, maybe some vice grips. You don't know vice grips. And clap it on the bottom of your stem. Just like that. What I usually do with these two fingers, I kind of hold the gland ring in, in place like that. When I'm screwing the stem through. So you're gonna have to go counterclockwise on this, and get the stem to start going through. Like that. As you can see, it's already coming out. You keep going until so the thread's finished. All right, but it's already all the way through. You could tell because it gets a little kind of like loose. That's when you know the thread's already all the way through. Then you get yourself a little bar, you know, anything to just hold that pack, hold that gland ring in place. Put it upside down and just hit the, the stem through with a mallet hammer. <coughs> Flip it over. Grease. Okay, grease it up, top of this, top of the gland ring. Put your retainer back on, doesn't matter which way two inch and then uh, this is where your timing is gonna this is where you gotta do your timing see that first groove right there that one that's where your stem screw has to be flush with this so in order to do that I gotta go down with the stem screw until I get to that that step. There you go, that's flush. All right, next thing you wanna do, just slap it on top of your stem and go uh, counterclockwise about halfway and flip the whole valve over upside down just like so Drag. this is my indicator right here where you put your lock screw in this slot just kind of keep it right there in that area you're gonna slide your gate under and go also counterclockwise on this until you can't go anymore That'll be it. Then lay down and you're gonna go counterclockwise three times from that that where the lock screw goes. One, two, three. Then you put your lock screw on there. All right. Then you grease up your gate, both sides. Make sure the gate ain't damaged or has any crud or rust on it. If not, then you're gonna have to get a, one of them uh, pads 
and just wipe it down and stuff. Grease it up. You saw your seat? Well, actually, you gotta grease the inside of the seat. Saw your seat. Grease the outside of it. Then you're gonna grease the inside of your body. Put some more grease in here. And then slap your bonnet assembly into your body. The slot needs to line up with that pin index right there. Put your coupling back on. Um, in this case, we're going to put it on the pipe vise, but. Okay, good. Use a pipe wrench. Tie it down. <laughs> Last thing you want to do is uh, put your handle and your lock lock handle on. Set your cotter pin in there. That's it. Close it all the way. You shouldn't have a gap in between the the handle and the, the screw housing. If you do, then your timing is off. <laughs> 